So I've had this uh, little charge controller on my booster pack for a while. Um, at the moment it's got 30 watts of monocrystalline panel going into it. And it was sold as version 2 with this voltmeter on it. And an improvement was that it was now proper PWM. But look at that charge light and the battery voltage. That doesn't feel like proper PWM to me. That feels very much like a switching charge controller. Of course, the other question is how much current does this little charge controller pull? As you can see, the numbers fluctuate in there, and that depends on how many segments of that LED display are on at any one time. But let's say 60 milliamps all day, all night. And as I'm struggling in this time of year to get as much energy into my battery as possible, that's quite a drain. This is a printout of the schematic of the PWM5 charge controller created by Julian Eilert of 256.uk. I've been really interested in this project, especially since he's now adapted it to work on the Arduino. Now I certainly recommend you go look at Julian's uh, YouTube channel and follow his videos about the Arduino PWM charge controller uh, where he explains what all this code does but primarily um, these uh, variables set um, two of the pins 11 and 3 to be out of phase from each other for a charge pump um, and change the frequency as well to about 15 kilohertz, I think, off the top of my head. He's using digital pins 11 and 3 to power the charge pump. Um, he uses a, a variable of decivolt, which is a tenth of a volt, which makes some of the maths a bit easier, I think, later on. So all it does is read analog pin 1, do some maths, create into decivolts, if it's below 13.5 volts or 135 decivolts, you change the uh, pulse width to go up, and if it's below, you change the pulse width to go down. So that was his really simple uh, code, which was available on GitHub. But when I was looking around on how to uh, find some of that, the components and look at the code and that sort of thing, I came across this site. Uh, Arduined.eu, uh, which shows this. This is the layout for that PWM5 Arduino based charge controller on a bit of Vero board. And those are all the components and where to put them. Now, the idea is that piece of Vero board is exactly the same size as an Arduino Pro Mini. But the person who created this site goes even further than that and shows what you need to do on the back of it as well and how you need to link up all those components and of course if you fold this particular piece of paper in half you've got the front or the top and the bottom so here's my list of parts and as you can see with the Pro Mini clone that I used, £1.38, the, the voltage regulator, some transistors, a MOSFET, some resistors here, diodes, um, and capacitors with a little bit of circuit board and wire and I guess some solder. Grand total for this project was about £3.87. Now, of course, that £3.87 does not include labour, and it has taken me a while to sort all of this out, but here it is. My PWM5 charge controller. It's not yet got the Arduino built on top of it, um, but there are wires to do so. I've made my board a little bit bigger, just to leave a bit of space around the edge found that was best for me. So we've got the solar coming in via a shocky diode and the positive battery connection and the negative uh, to both battery and oops, 
solar panel. And there we are, there's the top. In fact, let's put this in the background. There's the top. And there's the bottom. Now, keen people will notice that mine's slightly different. I put an extra row in by accident, but anyway, it's come out all right in the end after a few adjustments. So now all we'll need to do is wire the Arduino onto the top of it. So there it is, um, with the Arduino folded on. This should cut those legs off, really. And connected with some 2.1mm connectors. So we've got a shared ground with switches in the high side. Um, and I genuinely haven't done this yet so far, so let's plug in some power and turn it on. Well, it powers up and so far there's no smoke, there's no fire. So, let's plug in some solar panels. Oops. There we go. So, how do I tell if it's doing anything? Okay, so as we saw in the code, this uh, PWM charge controller's target voltage is 135 decivolts or 13.5 volts. So, let's test my battery first. Get that probe the right way around. So, so that battery is currently at 12.8. Eight. So let's plug in some solar panels and then test that battery voltage again. Try again. Twelve point eight five. There we go. 12.89 hopefully climbing so this charge controller seems to be working but we also need to consider how much energy it's pulling because if it's pulling considerably more than my old charge controller I might have to reconsider this so let's turn it on see what happens So that seems to be settling down. There's no solar panels plugged in, so we're not getting any power from anywhere else. That seems to have settled down at 28 milliamps. Well, that's half the power of the old one. So a massive thank you to Julian Eilert of 256.uk for releasing the PWM charge controller and the Arduino version and all the work he's done on that in the past. And another big thank you to whoever created arduined.eu and created these images I'm afraid I haven't been able to find out your name so I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video as much as I enjoyed making the Arduino PWM uh, charge controller so please give me a thumbs up subscribe like share and I'll see you next time thanks for watching